NBA 2K21 Next Generation also has updated 15 player scans. A lot of these are similar to the one on the current gen, but there's also a lot that they did not have on the current gen. So I'm going to be reacting to these. I put them all into one team to check it out in game because I will show you guys the ones on the normal screen, but they don't look that nice because of the lighting. So I'm going in game to actually show you how they look in game in the game in game in game anyways before this video starts get pass out to the pack in this pack here aka your mama's best friend please be an og join the pack and subscribe let's get the 300,000 subscribers straight up i, I want to show you all the player face scans how they look before and afters i actually don't have a lot of the befores but i can show you how they look like in real life and now and see if you know they look better so starting off at number one we have dj wilson a even though he's on the bucks even though his rating is not that good, he, he has a lot of promise. He's actually pretty decent, and I think he's going to get really better throughout time. There's two things going on with DJ Wilson. First off, the face scan is brand new. You obviously can't tell that well because he's kind of looking down, but the tattoos were also added, and look at the detail on those tattoos. Okay, 2K, I see you. I don't like how his arms basically amputated through his leg. Rest in peace. But for the most part, this is actually really, really clean, and you got the next-gen lighting on his forehead going up like, ah, uh, it's pretty good it's, it's actually pretty good up next we have Jalen Brown Jalen Brown has been somebody that they've been struggling to make good in NBA 2k21 it has been a constant struggle for 2k I don't know why I don't get what their situation is first of all they destroy this man's hairline like what is going on there that is a that's a lateral hairline right there not only that they add the beard and make it longer and the face scan is updated it's getting better but it's still not great and it's weird how they just they're constantly struggling with Jalen Brown. It makes no sense to me. But uh, I like how, like, I'm gonna talk about this man's lips. The lips are detailed. They, they are, it's, I'm just being honest. And you know, the little acne and like the discoloration on his forehead and stuff, it, it's pretty accurate, but still, it's just a little off. I don't know what it is. Up next, at number three, we have Xavier Tillman. Xavier Tillman is one of the most improved players this year. A great rookie on the Grizzlies. He has been fantastic, and then he's like a 77 overall. One of the most improved rookies this season. But on top of it all, they finally gave him his face scan. He had like the fake creative player one before. Now they gave him a face scan from head to toe with beard and hair that is accurate to Xavier. And it looks fantastic. I don't know why there's so many dots on players' faces. I don't know why they did that this year. But ignoring the crazy amount of black dots on his face. Because it's like they're trying to have pores, but like they made them too thick. Besides that, this is actually a very good face scan. Now for John Ka you know, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My guy, what, what are, what is that? What, what? Might as well just wear 2K generics at that point, my guy. But anyways, John Collins, they gave him, they, he used to have like really short hair and the beard was different. And now they gave him a longer beard. The tattoos are updated. And on top of that, his hair is longer. And besides that, not many changes, but I like the detail they're adding here. It, it looks solid. Now at the, uh, at the end of the bench, you know, he's so far out at the end of the bench, I can't even zoom in on his face perfectly. But here's another player at number six that had a creative player face scan. Now he has an actual face scan. It's Vernon Carey Jr. He's on the Charlotte Hornets. And on the Charlotte Hornets, he's actually a pretty decent big who can shoot threes. But besides that, there's not much more to Vernon. It looks like him. They have a little mole on his forehead. It's accurate. All right, Kevin, I kind of I need you to look over here. But, you know, all right. Anyways, Kevin Hoarder at number six. Listen, Kevin, um, I have no clue what they did here. It looks exactly the same. I think there's a little bit more detail with, like, the acne on his face. But, like, literally, it looks exactly the same as it was before. Maybe I'm crazy, but the hair, the face, everything, it looks identical. So, at number seven, we have an arguable Rookie of the Year candidate. We have Tyrese Halliburton. So, this already straight up looks way better than it did before. Like, what was that? Even, even Tyrese was like, yo, 2K, who is that? But... There is a couple problems here. The hair is kind of weird and the facial hair is gray. And I have no, is that a glitch? I don't know. It's been like that. It's weird. But besides that, like the face scan itself is accurate, but I don't know why his beard is gray. Okay, so now we're at number eight with James Ennis, who looks annoyed by Kevin Horder's discussion. Daddy but still, Hill. James Ennis looks really good here. The detail, the, the, the detail on his face, the beard, the little uh, braids he has. Like, that's actually super accurate. I mentioned it before. James Ennis hadn't had a update in, like, years. So the fact that they finally updated him and made it super accurate with the tattoos on his hand is clutch of them. It finally looks like James Ennis for the first time in a long time. We have somebody who was so good in the bowl but hasn't been able to play, and that is TJ Warren at number nine so the 
cornrows are actually detailed a lot better they gave like kind of the detail in the hairline a lot more uh, explicit plus the beard is more accurate a little bit of acne here and there to represent how teacher warden's face actually is with a brand new face scan is literally one of the better face scans i've seen it's actually super accurate super accurate so one of the more improved players this season at number 10 is sabin lee sabin lee had like a creative player face kind of thing going on now they have the actual face with the little like mark on his forehead the little mustache his nose is like a little crooked how he has in real life the hair is accurate everything about this is super super clean and accurate i'm impressed i'm impressed too, okay he deserves it though he's been low-key super good for the pistons this year out of nowhere he's had like three 20 point games in the past 10 games he's been very good so i'm glad they updated him as well at number 11 it is a spur and that is trey jones the rookie who's a defending point guard who is literally in this shot for whatever reason picking his nose why is he doing that i don't know but uh i don't talk like this my guy but whatever his his face scan is actually decent the smile kind of looks weird on him but like everybody that smiles in 2k this year looks kind of weird but um i mean his teeth is like perfect but they he was another player that had like a creator player face scan now they gave him a legit face scan which is good to see for the, all the rookies to get him now so at number 12 we have bridges with a brand new face scan from the suns literally just a face scan and the hair is a little more updated but besides that not a huge change for bridges i don't know i don't know why it was kind of a minor change like he already looked kind of decent so I don't know why they updated him. There's other players that need like hella updates, like for example, John Moran, but like, hey, hey, I mean, update as many as you want, I guess. At number 13, saw another Suns player, Cameron Johnson. Here's the thing, the Suns have been winning a lot of games, so obviously you need to give everybody on the Suns better face scans. I mean, they're one of the better teams in the NBA right now. So Cameron Johnson had short hair, now he has a lot longer hair. Basically an afro at this point is what they gave Cameron Johnson and little moles on his lips, which is realistic. And that is all the change for Cameron Johnson, which is good. So there is two more, but I wasn't able to put them on this team. So I'm gonna show you them on the normal actual like rosters. So first one is injured Wizards player, but he was playing good when he was not hurt. That is Thomas Bryant with a brand new face scan, which was much needed because it was terrible before. And the little facial hair that isn't a lot, but it's it's a little detailed because it's like not a lot. It's good, it's good. They actually did a really good job with Thomas Bryant here. I like it. And finally, Jakeem Noah. I actually already showed you this one at number 15. Uh, I showed you in the other video, but I'm, I'm willing to show you one more time, just, just for the memes. I do think it's weird that they decided to update Jakeem Noah when he's literally not playing for anybody. But damn, his eye color here is way more lighter than it was in current gen. But yeah, Jakeem Noah, darker skin now because he got a tan, low key, and like that's really it. Um, but th those, that's I mean, that's everybody. That's that's everyone that got updated. There's obviously a lot more players that need to be updated. So let me know in the comments who you think needs an update. That is it for this video. If you like this channel, give it a sub, and I'll see you guys next time.